obviously what you want out of an exhibition like that is to get as many guys in the game as you can. We haven't really decided who our starters would be, so that's why we started two different lineups. And we wanted to see what we had with different lineup rotations. But more than anything, I'm thrilled that we ran, got to 100. Um, I think we can get better in that area. Obviously, there's some things I was disappointed in, but I'm thankful for the 100. And then after giving up 60 points and a half in our scrimmage against each other, uh, the defense was really stressed since then. So I think you probably saw tired legs that's on our staff. Obviously, uh, we're not giving 60 points up and a half anymore. So. Um, but we're thankful, and if you have any questions, go for it. Well, I want to start, uh, you guys still were able to score 100 points despite some struggles from three. Was that kind of, when you guys talked in the huddles and whatnot, was it, you know, threes aren't falling, but we're going to dominate in the paint? Is that what the discussion was, or it's just how it worked out? Yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I said that's what we said. We probably said the opposite. Um, Isaiah at one point said we got to trust our three. Uh, we're going to have to play defense this hard and make threes, and we're going to have to be in good enough shape for that to happen. So. Uh, We'd probably look at the stat sheet and say we wanted at least threes, 33s put up today, so we're 10 behind that. Uh, we've shot good all summer. I expect we're going to do that coming around the corner, but uh, we want to shoot the three. We're not going to back down from that. 21 points for Trey Carroll tonight. I mean, at one point he was taking a step back triple, then putting it on the floor, doing a spin move. Can you just speak on his game tonight? And how was he able to, to really be probably one of the most successful games I've ever seen? Yeah, I mean, Trey's done a great job. And the first thing that Trey did is he said yes to us and he stayed. And then a couple other people in Dev and Kel followed and Jack obviously the same. So I'm really thankful for that. And then we got to player development. And I think from the time Trey's been in high school, he's been a mismatch guy. He's not a position guy. And that's where basketball's going. It's a positionless game. And so for Trey, whether it was at the four or five, I just think he always got a mismatch. So it's a smaller guy. He can drive and bump spin at the hoop, like turn it into a little post up. And gets a bigger guy, he can just cut and move in space, and the big guys can't keep up with him. So we're thankful for that. We're just going to keep trying to find good mismatches for Trey. With with 12 steals tonight, and, and resulting in points on a lot of them, how beneficial was that? And how do you go about trying to replicate that against you know an Auburn or another team that's that's maybe not St. Leo? Yeah, one I want to say, I mean, I'm thankful for St. Leo. I thought that they, uh, they're doing this courageous thing where they go from Florida State to us to Miami. And uh, I'm really thankful for the game. I thought the coach helped us today. And uh, good luck to their program. And the second thing I'd say is I thought besides the threes, the steals was the other thing we thought was low. So if you look at our field goal attempts, maybe assist percentage was down, but we should have taken the ball away from them more often, especially on the rotation steals. We're a half second behind on those. So, uh, can we do it against anybody? We're going to find out, but we're not going to back off. We're going to definitely try to get those and uh, keep trying to rotate and steal the basketball. You mentioned the assist percentage was down, but five players still in double figures. How did you like the team's connectivity and, and showing, I guess, gelness, if that's the right word, uh, in this first game? Yeah, when you're trying to play 10 guys and it's constant subbing, there's going to be times where there's a lack of rhythm. And I thought our spacing is something that we can work on. Sometimes people, guys, will run in and do each other. Uh, if we can get to proper spacing, I think the assists will follow. And if you just look at like the last four to five minutes, you finally saw a rhythm. Nico had some pitch aheads. We had some ball screen reads that led to open threes. I was hoping Jack Johnson would make that one. But uh, on the whole, I think that's something we can work on. We've been good in practice at passing, but that's something we can improve after today. First game in the LA uh, official game for you. What, what was your thoughts on the atmosphere, the fans, and the, the Flamingos? Yeah, all? I think I'm just finally thankful to be here. You know, um, you guys don't see what our staff had to do uh, the six months, first three or four without our wives living in a frat house somewhere in the area, uh, recruiting constantly, having 15 visits back to back to back, no days off. Uh, you do all that so you can play. And uh, we chose to come here because we believe that in the regular season there's a 21 game sellout streak and uh, I know the season tickets are sold out and we want that to stay and I uh, hope today we showed enough that the fans will come in the regular season and, and give us the same thing they've done the last 21 games. One more scrimmage before Indiana State. What would you say this team needs to improve on the most in that time span to have a performance like this against Indiana State? You know, I think we probably need to watch the film. Uh, there's some things in my head right now that will probably frustrate me as a gut reaction, but until you really watch the film, I, personally I think it comes down to fundamentals. Offensively our fundamentals were great. Six turnovers in a 40 minute game. That's excellent. Defensively I think we, we made some mistakes in our rotations. And I would say if we really want to run the way we want to, we're going to have to 
defensive rebound and turn people over more. So um, that's probably still going to be the focus. We'll just do it in a way where they get their legs back underneath them and we'll shoot some threes. As we Last want. question. Uh, I noticed a, a press getting put on there uh, in the second half when you guys were up big. Is that something we will see throughout the regular season, uh, or is, is press just something that will be used when needed? Uh, we, we tried different things today. There's zone and, and, and you know a press, man press that we tried. I think we're just going to continue to tinker. One thing you notice about our team, apart from Nico and, and Leland, I think everybody's 6'4 and taller. Uh, we've got a bunch between 6'5 and 7'1. And I just think our length is going to disrupt people. So we're not 100% sure what our jump defense will be, but we tried to today, and I think at least one of them will stay.